Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on the new Anastasia foundation and it is the new foundation stick. Um, and the color I have is in chestnut. I am not entirely sure if this is my actual color, um, but I am gonna try it out and let you guys know how I like it. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a wear test. I'm also going to show you guys um, compare and contrast with all of the stick foundations that I have, which is only three. But I wanted to show you guys other options um, that the that this is running up against that um, you guys might have been thinking about trying or you've heard about before and you wanted to know how they compare. Little backstory before I put the foundation on. I've been wanting to try this foundation since I first saw Norvina talk about it on her Snapchat. If you don't follow her on Snapchat, you should because she gives a lot of background about all of her product. I believe it was couple months ago actually she started talking about Anastasia's first foundation um, which is huge because Anastasia is widely known for brow products but they also have highlighters they have eyeshadows they have everything but foundation and we're all like okay Anastasia when are you gonna come out with foundation from the moment she was showing all of the behind the scenes I fell in love with the foundation simply because she really took her time in trying to cater to all skin tones all undertones giving everybody a wide range of option that's one thing I can appreciate I also can appreciate that this is a combination oily skin product compared to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation this one is more for combination oily skin so if you have drier skin she was saying the Makeup Forever would be better suitable which I think is great that she even mentioned another product it's not all about money for her it's about the actual product and your experience with the product and that's why I love her so much okay I'm done talking about Norvina we're gonna get to the foundation so like I said the color I have is in chestnut this is what it looks like um, it looks like a pretty good match um, however, when I was buying it, I bought it online the, fir the first day it came out and I wasn't sure what color to get. So I went on the Anastasia Instagram page and I looked at the different swatches that they had um, and I tried to find somebody who looked like me. And it was really hard because a lot of the shades looked the same. I felt like I was between chestnut, amber, and cool golden, which cool golden does not come out until September. So I wanted something in my hands right now, so I got what I thought would be a best match for me. My girl Taylor texts me a chart that compares this foundation to all of the MAC shades, and it was saying that this is NW45 compatible, and I am not NW45, I'm in C45. So the fact that I totally missed the undertone might be a little scary because it might be a little too red for me. I'm not going to wear any heavy primer today because I want to test the actual wearability of the foundation itself without wearing primer because on a regular day-to-day -day basis I don't wear uh, a heavy primer. The only thing that I put on my face is moisturizer. I use my priming moisturizer by Glossier because this helps my skin to feel very nice underneath my foundation. Um, it just keeps my skin moisturized. So yeah, that's all I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. So let's work. Let's start at the bottom here just in case it's too crazy. Okay, um, I don't see a drastic color mismatch. Okay, on this side where there's a little more shading because the sun is coming in from this way, um, I see that it is a little red. I think for the summertime, this may work well for me, but when winter hits, I may have to switch which I probably will do anyway once cool golden comes out I'll probably get use that one more I don't usually apply foundation to my nose heavily because I know my nose gets the oiliest but I'm gonna put it in my nose I can see why she would say that it's more for oily skin because um yep can you see how red that is it's not too dark it's just too red my makeup forever ultra HD it smooths over the skin like butter like it's very buttery this one is more, a little more stiff. It's kind of more like clay. Does that make sense? It's not necessarily a complaint at all because the thing is, I know that more clay-like foundations stay put better and they last longer on oily skin as opposed to a more creamy, buttery product. You know what I mean? The foundation looks beautiful. My only issue is the redness but I won't have to put on bronzer. That's a plus. I can tell the difference between my neck and my face. I highlight with a yellow concealer most of the time, so I feel like I can balance this out with some yellow concealer. I should be fine. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face, and then I'm gonna come back. 
Okay, so I finished my face. Um, I just did a video featuring what I used pretty much on my entire face. Um, it's some new stuff from MAC, so be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. Um, it is 4.30. It definitely says 4.30. I will be back um, before I take off my face so you guys can see how my skin held up. And uh, yeah, it's 9.17. PM. This is how oily my skin is and it looks really good like my skin is held up really well. My thoughts and opinions. When I first applied the foundation it went on really well. It went on smoothly. It wasn't hard to blend. It wasn't hard to maneuver on my skin. It's not the fullest of coverages. Nope. There are definitely other foundations on the market that are way more full coverage but at the same time it's not 100% full coverage right off the bat so you are able to build it up to your liking. I prefer a stick foundation that isn't extreme full coverage because um, I wear stick foundations on a more day-to-day -day basis as opposed to a liquid foundation. Um, for like, you know, just running errands and things like that, I prefer to wear a stick foundation because I can spot conceal um, and I don't have to wear it all over my face. I like that it doesn't give me the mask look that a regular foundation would. So if I wanted to just wear it on different spots and then blend it in and go on about my day, I could and I don't have to wear anything else with it. It isn't really full coverage to where you can tell that there's something on my face when I put it on. Does that make sense? It's almost like a, a wash of color all over the face without giving me a mask um, muted. I only have one thing on my face, appearance. There, there was, I did notice a little bit of splotchiness um, in my forehead area and that's only because is just dry up there and it needs to be um, exfoliated. Because it is a stick foundation, it doesn't smooth over those areas as easily. It's gonna show the dry patches and the dry skin. It wasn't something noticeable from far away, but when I got up close with a, a mirror, I could definitely tell. So I ended up applying my, my Click Stick from Cover FX because that one's more creamy and it was able to cover that area up. As far as the color goes, I know this color is not perfect for me. I do plan on getting another color in the future, so I'm not worried about that. You know, my jawline around my forehead and everything, it's not too red. It is a little bit off, but it's doable. Um, it's definitely not something I'd be like, oh, I'm never wearing this foundation color again, because I definitely can make it work. But on a regular day where I'm not wearing a whole full face to balance out the redness, I probably would go for a different color. Longevity, it's great. Um, even in the creases where I know I crease a lot, even my laugh lines are not too bad. I don't have a lot of creasing in my forehead. You guys know I'm animated, so creasing in the forehead happens a lot to me, and I don't have that going on. When I put it on, it was it felt matte. And then for about an hour or two, my skin was completely matte, no shine at all. I, I do like to have a little bit more of a natural finish to my skin. Not oily, just natural you know a natural do if you will over time obviously it settles and the natural do comes forth um i wasn't worried about that but if you like to have matte skin and you want a stick foundation this is probably going to work really well for you i feel like this is really a really good product to build on you can layer this foundation stick a lot and it won't get cakey. So I think that's why it's really matte and it's not as full coverage because it's meant to be layered upon. Do I think you should get it? I feel like for 25 bucks, um, you're getting what you pay for and um, it works really well. So I don't see why not. But if you are on the market for something and you're not really a foundation person or you are new to foundations and you don't know about getting a more high-end, pricier foundation, I would wait. I would wait until it's released in stores and then go to the store and try it out before you buy it. I do not recommend buying this online because you need to know your shade and you're going to have to buy more than one shade to figure out which shade you are. So I wouldn't recommend buying it online. I would recommend going to the store and getting shade matched and then trying it on at the store, walking outside, seeing how the undertone fits you. Um, and then deciding whether or not this would be something that you could invest in. However, I do think it's a great foundation for people who are not really into the whole full on glam looks. Because a lot of foundations don't allow you to just walk out the door with just foundation. I think if you just want something that's easy on the go, you can just and get a brush and boo 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 boo. 
Oh, that's another thing. I do recommend you use this with a brush and not a beauty blender. I mean, you definitely can use a beauty blender. You can use a beauty blender for everything. But I think if you want fuller coverage, a brush, a buffing brush is a way to go. Something dense like the Expert Face Brush. I don't usually use a beauty blender with a stick foundation um, because I find that it picks up too much of the product and it doesn't allow for the most coverage to be applied to the skin. Or you could just use your fingers, you know. For the most part, I don't know of a dupe for this. But it's $25. I feel like that's a really good price because most foundations like this are $40 and up. This foundation matches me a lot better in in the undertone and the color shade as compared to this one. Not my shade currently, but in the winter time, that's my perfect match. Warm Almond and Golden Almond are almost the same shade, just the undertones are a tiny bit different. Um, I use this one more, for, and it matches pretty well. But as you can see, all of these are very different shades. <laughs> it's pretty much all the swatches. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like, what it looks like compared to other stick foundations that I've been trying. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know but I think I covered everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like Foundation Friday, let me know and I'll continue to do it. I definitely have some other foundations I want to review and give you guys ideas and thoughts and opinions on. So please let me know if this is something that you are interested in. So yeah, that's it. Bye guys.